Large areas of the Southwest are exceptionally dry. That's never good. The worst category is taking a dramatic toll on the... This landscape screams problems to me. I mean, just look at the bathtub rings. To me, that is an enormous wake-up call. It's also having a major impact on Lake Mead, which is a major source of water for agriculture and for millions of people in the American West. What if America's greatest reservoir, once a symbol of power and prosperity, is now collapsing before our eyes? What if, beneath its shrinking waters, secrets are surfacing that could shock not only the Southwest, but the entire world? Lake Mead was born in 1935, the crown jewel of the Hoover Dam, the largest reservoir in the United States. At its peak, it held enough water to supply nearly 40 million people across Nevada, Arizona, California, and even Mexico. Mexico, for decades it represented triumph, man's ability to bend nature to his will. But today, that triumph is unraveling. The lake has fallen to record lows. White bathtub rings scar the canyon walls, marking how far the water has dropped. Marinas sit abandoned in the desert sun, docks left stranded in midair. What was once a glittering expanse of blue has shrunk into a fractured basin of mud, dust, and desperation. But the collapse of Lake Mead is more than a water crisis. Beneath its surface, scientists are uncovering geological instability, toxic secrets, and even signs of forces building below the desert floor. The question is no longer just about drought. It's about what happens when the very ground beneath Lake Mead starts to break apart. The Colorado River once carved the Grand Canyon. Now, it may carve a disaster at Lake Mead. And what lies beneath the surface may be more terrifying than anyone imagined. Chapter 1 A Vanishing Giant Lake Mead is collapsing, and the evidence is undeniable. In the last two decades, its water levels have plunged by more than 170 feet. At its lowest points, the reservoir has been reduced to less than a third of its original capacity. Satellite images reveal a shocking transformation. What was once a vast inland sea now looks like a patchwork of puddles. For millions who depend on it, the collapse feels like watching a giant bleed out drop by drop. Las Vegas, Phoenix and Los Angeles all rely on its waters, along with farms that produce a significant share of America's food. Without Lake Mead, the Southwest as we know it could not exist. But the collapse isn't just visible in water levels. As the lake recedes, it is revealing what it has hidden for nearly a century. Ghost towns drowned during its creation, wrecked boats, and even human remains. Each discovery fuels both fascination and dread, reminders of how quickly nature can reclaim what was taken. Scientists warn that this vanishing giant is more than a slow-motion drought. The rapid loss of water is destabilizing the land itself, increasing the risk of cracks, sinkholes, and even seismic stress beneath the reservoir. What looks like an emptying lake may actually be the first stage of a geological chain reaction. Lake Mead isn't just drying up, it's breaking down, and what lies beneath its surface may soon rewrite the future of the American West. Chapter 2 Ghosts from the Deep as Lake Mead retreats, it doesn't just leave behind cracked earth and dry marinas. It is giving back its secrets. The receding waters have revealed a chilling archive of what was once hidden beneath its depths. Skeletons have surfaced, some resting silently in the mud, others stuffed into rusted barrels. A grim reminder that the lake once served as a convenient dumping ground for organized crime during Las Vegas' darkest days. Boats lost to storms, engines corroded with time, now sit eerily exposed on the cracked desert floor. Cars, weapons, and relics of another age emerge like ghosts breaking the surface. But it isn't just crime scene evidence surfacing. Entire communities that were drowned when the reservoir was created in the 1930s are reappearing. Old roads, building foundations, and even forgotten settlements once sacrificed for progress now stand again in the sun, their outlines stark against the dry earth. It is as though history itself has been exhumed, one falling waterline at a time. For archaeologists and historians, the discoveries are invaluable. For locals, they are unsettling. The lake is becoming less of a reservoir and more of a graveyard, filled with remnants of lives, crimes, and tragedies once buried beneath the water. 
The past is resurfacing, and with it, the realization that Lake Mead is not only collapsing physically, but also unraveling the secrets it kept hidden for nearly a century. Chapter 3 Cracks Beneath the Desert The collapse of Lake Mead isn't just about water, it's about the ground itself breaking apart. As the reservoir shrinks, scientists have detected alarming signs of subsidence, the sinking of land as aquifers run dry and weight loads shift. Satellite images reveal the desert around Lake Mead, dropping by inches each year. Cracks tear through farmland, split across roads, and fracture the desert floor in jagged lines stretching for miles. Some fissures are so deep they swallow fences, cars, and anything unlucky enough to cross their path. These aren't just surface scars. Geologists warn that they may connect to ancient faults beneath the Colorado Plateau, faults that could be reawakening under new stresses. By draining the reservoir and pumping groundwater, humans may have tipped the delicate balance of pressure below the desert, nudging long dormant fractures into motion, and then there are the tremors. Seismic sensors placed around the basin have picked up clusters of microquakes, tiny shudders too weak to feel but strong enough to raise alarms. Could the shrinking of Lake Mead be destabilizing the crust itself? Could a man-made collapse trigger a natural disaster? The desert is cracking open, and Lake Mead may not just be collapsing above, it may be tearing the ground apart below. Chapter 4 Toxic Secrets in the Mud What happens when the bottom of America's largest reservoir is finally exposed? As Lake Mead shrinks, scientists are uncovering toxic surprises buried for nearly a century. Sediment samples taken from the lake bed reveal layers thick with dangerous chemicals. Arsenic, lead, mercury and pesticides all washed into the reservoir during decades of farming and industry. For generations, the water kept these poisons sealed under a protective layer. But now, as the lake collapses, those toxins are being exposed to the air and stirred up by floods and winds. Already, dust storms from the drying shoreline are carrying particles into nearby communities. Tests show traces of heavy metals in the soil around the basin, raising concerns that the collapse of Lake Mead could become a public health crisis. Breathing in this toxic dust could damage crops, contaminate drinking water, and harm residents for miles. And then there's the deeper mystery. Buried in the mud are remnants of mid-20th century America's most dangerous industries. Waste from uranium processing plants, chemical factories, and military experiments. Some of these sediments contain radioactive signatures. Others hold industrial solvents known to cause cancer. Lake Mead was supposed to be a reservoir of life, a secure source of water and power, but now it may be turning into a reservoir of poison. If the toxins continue to spread, the collapse of Lake Mead won't just be an ecological disaster, it could be one of the largest environmental health crises in US history. Chapter 5 The Hoover Dam at Risk when Hoover Dam was built in the 1930s, it was hailed as one of humanity's greatest engineering achievements, a concrete wall that tamed the mighty Colorado River and gave life to the desert. But as Lake Mead collapses, scientists are warning that the dam itself may be in danger. The problem lies in pressure. Hoover Dam was designed for a full reservoir, with steady weight pressing evenly against its massive wall. But now, as water levels drop, the balance is shifting. Instead of consistent force, the dam faces unpredictable stress, lighter in some places, heavier in others. Engineers say this uneven load could weaken the structure over time, creating cracks no one wants to see. Add to that the ground beneath it. Subsidence is pulling parts of the desert floor downward, while seismic tremors ripple through the region. If a moderate earthquake were to strike while the dam is already under unusual strain, the consequences could be catastrophic. Imagine it. Hoover Dam fracturing under stress, unleashing a wall of water downstream. Las Vegas, Phoenix, and countless smaller communities would face flooding on a scale not seen in modern America. The collapse of Lake Mead wouldn't just mean no water, it would mean destruction. For the first time since its completion, scientists and engineers are whispering a question once thought unthinkable. Could Hoover Dam itself fail? Chapter 6 Water Wars of the Southwest 
What happens when the lake that feeds 40 million people begins to vanish? The fight for what little remains of Lake Mead has already begun, and it's turning into a battle for survival. Lake Mead is not just a body of water, it is the beating heart of the American Southwest. From Phoenix to Los Angeles, from Las Vegas to countless farms across Arizona and California, its waters fuel industries, irrigate fields, and keep entire cities alive. But with every drop lost, the pressure on this dwindling resource grows sharper and the arguments grow louder. Farmers are being told to abandon crops, their fields left dry and cracked as their water allotments are slashed. Small towns are watching wells run dry while megacities fight to keep fountains and golf courses flowing. Lawsuits pile up, political deals collapse, and backroom negotiations turn bitter. Experts warn the crisis could ignite a true water war, not fought with armies, but with lawsuits, power plays, and desperate communities pitted against one another. If Lake Mead's decline continues, the question of who controls the last remaining drops could become one of the most explosive political battles in modern American history. The West was built on water from the Colorado River. Without Lake Mead, it all collapses. The war for the future of the Southwest may already be underway. Chapter 7 The Desert Awakens the collapse of Lake Mead isn't just reshaping its waters, it's awakening the desert itself. Cracks, fissures and tremors suggest that the land around the reservoir may be stirring from a long slumber. Satellite images show sections of the desert floor sinking, subsiding by inches each year. Suddenly, fissures hundreds of feet long rip open across farmland and highways, splitting the earth in jagged lines. Locals describe them as apocalyptic, gashes in the desert that appear overnight, swallowing fences, cars, and even parts of irrigation canals. Scientists fear these fractures may connect to deeper faults hidden beneath the Colorado Plateau. For centuries, they lay dormant, quiet under the weight of water and sediment. But now, as Lake Mead collapses and groundwater is pumped at unsustainable levels, the delicate balance may be tipping. Even more chilling are the tremors. Clusters of microquakes have been detected near the lake, too small to be felt, but persistent enough to prove that the ground is alive. If stress continues to build, one of these silent murmurs could become a real quake. With devastating consequences for Hoover Dam and the communities downstream, the desert has always been a land of extremes. But as Lake Mead collapses, it may also be becoming unstable. The land is cracking, the ground is shifting, and the silence of the desert may be giving way to something far more dangerous. Chapter 8 Secrets in the Lake Bed What if the true story of Lake Mead isn't in the water that remains, but in the ground it's exposing? As the shoreline retreats, the lake bed is revealing secrets buried for nearly a century. Sediment cores pulled from the exposed bottom have stunned scientists. Layer after layer tells a story, Floods, droughts, pollution, even radioactive signatures from the atomic age. Trapped in the mud are toxic cocktails, arsenic, mercury, and pesticides, dumped over decades, now exposed to winds that whip them into nearby towns as choking dust. What's clear is this, the lake is no longer just a reservoir. It has become a time capsule, a toxic vault, and a geological mystery all at once. And as the waters keep vanishing, more secrets will surface, whether we are ready for them or not. Chapter 9 Collapse Scenarios What happens if Lake Mead doesn't just shrink, but fails catastrophically? Scientists are running models of worst-case scenarios, and the results are terrifying. One scenario is sudden subsidence. If the ground beneath the reservoir gives way, sinkholes could swallow vast sections of shoreline, roads, and even parts of Hoover Dam's support systems. Another is seismic failure. If dormant faults reactivate, even a moderate earthquake could rupture weakened cliffs, sending millions of tons of rock crashing into the reservoir, creating waves large enough to overtop the dam itself. 
The most alarming scenario is total dam failure. If Hoover Dam were to crack under strain, the wall of water released downstream would be apocalyptic. Cities like Laughlin and Bullhead would be gone within hours. The surge would roar into Lake Havasu, through Parker Dam, and eventually into Mexico, overwhelming everything in its path. The collapse of Lake Mead would instantly become the greatest infrastructure disaster in US history. Even without total failure, smaller disasters loom. Power generation could grind to a halt, cutting electricity to millions. Water distribution systems could seize up, leaving entire cities without drinking water. Agriculture across the West could collapse, turning fertile land into desert wasteland. The only certainty is that the collapse has already begun. The only question is how far it will go, and how fast. Chapter 10 The Mega Flood Threat what if Lake Mead's greatest danger isn't running dry, but unleashing a flood of biblical proportions? History shows that the Colorado River system has triggered catastrophic floods before, when natural dams failed, and entire landscapes were ripped apart. Geologists studying the canyon walls downstream of Lake Mead have found deposits of boulders and sediment so massive they could only have been moved by violent sudden floods. These flood scars are relics of Ice Age disasters, when melting glaciers and bursting lakes unleashed torrents that reshaped valleys in days. Now experts warn that the stresses on Hoover Dam and the unstable cliffs around Lake Mead could set the stage for a modern repeat. If a landslide crashed into the shrinking reservoir, or if seismic activity fractured the dam itself, the resulting surge could mimic those ancient mega-floods. A wall of water would race downstream, drowning entire communities, swallowing farmland, and crippling infrastructure all the way into Mexico. Lake Mead is shrinking, but that doesn't mean it's safe. A collapsing giant doesn't fade quietly. It can explode. And if that day comes, the mega-flood could rival any natural disaster in American history. Chapter 11 the future of the Southwest. What if Lake Mead's collapse is only the beginning of something larger? For decades, the American Southwest thrived on a promise that the Colorado River could provide endless water, endless growth, endless prosperity. But as Lake Mead collapses, that promise is breaking. Climate models predict harsher extremes ahead, searing droughts followed by brutal floods. The river that once built the modern West is now tearing it apart. Without radical change, scientists warn that major cities like Las Vegas and Phoenix could face water shortages so severe that mass migrations become unavoidable. Farms that feed millions may wither, industries may collapse, and the desert may reclaim what was borrowed from it. But in the chaos, Lake Mead is also offering lessons. Its exposed fossils, ancient sediments, and geological scars remind us that the desert has endured worse and survived. The question is whether we can. The future of the Southwest depends on the choices made now. Will humans adapt to nature's warning, or will Lake Mead's collapse mark the beginning of the end for America's desert empire? Chapter 12 The Warning Beneath the Waves from the white bathtub rings on its canyon walls to the skeletons and secrets rising from its depths, Lake Mead is no longer a reservoir. It is a warning. It is the story of how human ambition bent a river to its will, only to learn that nature always takes back what is borrowed. We've seen the cracks in the desert floor, the tremors beneath the basin, the poisons leaking from the mud, and the haunting evidence of civilizations past reappearing in the sun. We face the unthinkable questions. Could Hoover Dam fail? Could the Colorado River unleash another mega flood? Could the Southwest itself become uninhabitable? Lake Mead was built as a symbol of triumph. Today, it stands as a mirror, reflecting the fragile balance between human progress and the unstoppable forces of geology, climate, and time. Its collapse is not just about water, it's about survival. It's about what happens when we push nature too far, and nature finally pushes back. The only question that remains is this. Are we listening, 
Or will Lake Mead's collapse become the opening chapter in a disaster that rewrites the future of the American West? If you want to uncover more shocking discoveries about Earth's hidden dangers and the forces shaping our future, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with others. Every drop of truth matters, because what's happening at Lake Mead today could be tomorrow's headline for the entire planet.